friends of our Blessed Lady. We continue to follow Mary as we journey with her son Jesus to his death on Calvary. For the full text and audio of Mary's meditation, click on the links provided with this video. Used with permission from Creighton University Online Ministry. This week we focus on the twelfth station in our Shrine Chapel, Jesus Dies on the Cross. Listen now to Mary's words. The sword of helplessness split my heart in two as I watched him struggle to breathe, pulling himself up to let the air out of his lungs. With incredible courage and compassion, he spoke of mercy and love. There on that cross, he gave me to John and gave me to the Spirit-filled church that would be born on Pentecost. Then, after he gave himself into God's hands one last time, he took his last breath and he died. It is unforgettable to watch life leave the body of someone you love. At the foot of his cross today, listen to my son tell you of his love for you. Speak to him from your heart. George Whalen offers his meditation on this twelfth station. This station is not the culmination of all the agony for our Lord, for we know that the resurrection occurs three days later. Yet we can all identify with the fear and finality of death. We fear it for ourselves and for the loved ones in our lives. Having watched others deteriorate and pass away, we know the sadness that it leaves behind. Not only Mary, but the followers of Jesus no doubt felt a great sadness. We also know from the gospel accounts that some of the disciples were also afraid after Jesus' death. They denied knowing him, given their fear of the Roman persecutors. Despite this sadness, fear, and denial, there is the glory of the resurrection, which is a cornerstone of our faith. There can be an extremely happy ending to death and any suffering here on earth for those who follow the teaching of Jesus. We are ultimately promised a return to our Heavenly Father in heaven. Let us pray this week to keep our focus on living as Jesus would want us to, so as to be reunited with him. We pray. Mary, help us to lead exemplary lives according to the teachings of your Son, Jesus. We saw in Jesus the promise of a victory over death. We also know of your assumption into heaven as a victory over your death. We yearn to live lives worthy of such wonderful promises at the time of our death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In our next reflection, we will focus on the 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage, and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.